Oh, let's talk about jargon, right? What are tempo runs? What's a fartlek? Because that sounds like a funny word. Um, what is my marathon pace? Good morning. Uh, Ryan Reynolds here coming to you from our brand new Ford Transit camper van that we will soon be taking on an epic adventure to the Great White North. Now, don't worry. There is a full tour coming soon, but right now it's a total disaster and um, I kind of would rather you see it in its full glory when it's actually organized and there isn't just stuff strewn all over the place. So a couple of weeks ago, I got to talk to running coach Matthew Kingor, who you saw talking just a second ago. And we did a lot of discussion about track workouts and their benefits. And we talked a lot about running form. And as we were talking, I realized that there were a lot of terms that came up that new and beginner runners might not understand, or even runners that have been doing it for a really long time, but haven't necessarily been doing it in a structured environment with a coach or running with a running group. I wanted to make sure that you all are able to take advantage of Matthew's considerable knowledge in these videos coming up. So today, Matthew and I are going to take you through four common running terms that are likely to come up in your workouts or even in conversation. This first term stumped me for a pretty long time. So I'm gonna let Matthew explain to you now what a tempo run is. Uh, a tempo is a slightly faster workout. It's not marathon pace, it's slightly faster than that. It's not as fast as 5K pace. For most people, what we call a tempo pace is the fastest you can run for one hour. So for a lot of runners, for your average runner, it's gonna be somewhere around 10K, 15K pace, maybe half marathon pace for a really, really fast person. But it's as fast as you can run for an hour and it's about a six or a seven on the perceived effort. Okay, I'm gonna stop things right here for just a second at perceived exertion. I think that's very important. So I'm gonna have Matthew delve into that just a little bit more. Um, there is, that speed you're running in miles per hour that you know if you've got a Garmin watch. But that's not exactly the end all be all for how hard your body is working. Perception of what it feels like, measured on a scale of one to 10, uh, is, is, is critical to sort of putting yourself in the right place for the objective of that workout. Um, you should know upfront going into a run, if it's a, especially if it's a hard run, how hard is it supposed to feel? Um, is this supposed to be an eight out of a 10 on the perceived effort? And, and mentally you can kind of measure it that way and you can keep yourself in check. Um, perceived effort on easy days should be a three or a four, almost gentle. And that kind of helps you do the hard days hard and the easy days easy. Another thing that you're probably going to hear a lot is the term negative splits. What is a negative split? Because negative sounds like a bad thing and as a runner I always want to have a positive attitude because that helps me run more and I don't want to have a negative attitude but I do want to have negative splits. If I'm running a 5k, I want to run pretty fast that first mile but it shouldn't feel like I'm dying yet. It's going to get a little harder to run that second mile and I want to run just as fast. But I want to run my third mile the fastest. And we call that a negative split. Finishing faster than you started. The first half gets even faster in the second half of the race, and we focus on negative splits. It's important for a couple of reasons. Um, one, the more you run, the harder you run, it, it, it does, on that perceived effort scale that we've talked about, it does get hard, really hard to maintain that place. So you have to have a, uh, uh, something in mind, an objective, a mental target, to really focus on. And so just keeping that mental focus by knowing, I want this second half of the 5K to be 10 seconds faster than that first half can really help you push through when your breath starts to get a little short, when that side stitch starts to hit you. It can really be that mental target that keeps you focused. Also, every world record in any distance on the track or off greater than one mile Every world record's been set with negative splits. So if it works for the fastest people in the world, it's probably gonna trickle down and work for us average Joes as well. Okay, and then last but not least, my favorite term, a fartlek. A fartlek is a different kind of speed play. It's a Swedish word that literally means speed play. Um, those are great on the track. Um, those are also great if you don't make it to the track that day. Let's say you have a track workout that you have to scratch. You can't get to the local high school where there's usually a track, or you can't find one at all. 
Uh, you can go run in your neighborhood around the block, a couple of blocks stitched together, and just run by the time on your watch. Two minutes on, one off. Or I'm gonna run to the end of this street, and then I'm gonna, I'm gonna uh, take it easy you know, after the turn and come back running hard again and easy as you sort of circle around the block. Something unstructured on that level is just a fart look. It's an easy way to take a track day anywhere else and still preserve that speed workout. Well, I don't know about you, but I feel smarter already. And I have to tell you that I was just so just mind blown by Matthew's incredible knowledge of running. And I'm so excited that we get to share him with you. And you're gonna be seeing him in a lot of videos coming up. So make sure that you bookmark this video so that you can come back to it for reference later if you need it. Now, are there any terms that we did not mention today that you need to know about? Are there any other questions that you have? Maybe some embarrassing ones that you don't wanna ask your friends. Your secret is, of course, safe with me. So there's a couple of ways that you can let me know these things. You can leave them down in the comments below. Or if your question is about something that you maybe don't want your name associated with, send your question right here to me at rye at runproject.org and we'll maybe make a little video about it. So make sure to check back next week. Don't forget, we have a new video that comes out every single Tuesday and I will see you in that one. Have a great day. Fart like, fart.